And you see, I've never understood national pride. I've never understood ethnic pride because uh, I'm Irish and I'm all four of my grandparents were born in Ireland, so I'm fully Irish. And when I was a kid, I would go to the St. Patrick's Day Parade and I noticed that they sold a button that said proud to be Irish. And I could never understand that because I knew that on Columbus Day, they sold a different button that said proud to be Italian. Then came black pride and Puerto Rican pride. And I could never understand ethnic or national pride because to me, pride should be reserved for something you achieve or attain on your own, not something that happens by accident of birth. Being Irish... <laughs> Being Irish isn't a skill. It's a fucking genetic accident. You wouldn't say I'm proud to be 5'11". I'm proud to have a predisposition for colon cancer. So why the fuck would you be proud to be Irish or proud to be Italian or American or anything? If, hey, if you're happy with it, that's fine. Do that. Put that on your car. Happy to be an American. Be happy. Don't be proud. Too much pride as it is. Pride goeth before a fall. Never forget Proverbs, okay? Now, here's another slogan. Here's another slogan you run into all the time. God bless America. Once again, respectfully, I say to myself, what the fuck does that mean? God bless America? Is that a request? Is that a demand? Is that a suggestion? Politicians say it at the end of every speech, as if it were some sort of verbal tick that they can't get rid of. <laughs> God bless you and God bless America. God bless you and God bless America. I guess they figure if they leave it out, someone's going to think they're bad Americans. Let me tell you a little secret about God, folks. God does not give a flying fuck about America, okay? He doesn't care. He never cared about this country. He, he never has, he never will, he doesn't care about this country any more than he cares about Mongolia, Transylvania, Pittsburgh, the Suez Canal, or the North Pole. He simply doesn't care, okay? He doesn't care. Listen, hey, there are 200 countries in the world now. Do these people honestly think that God is sitting around picking out his favorites? Why would he do that? Why would God have a favorite country? And why would it be America out of all the countries? Because we have the most money? Because he likes our national anthem? Maybe it's because he heard we have 18 delicious flavors of classic rice a -roni. It's delusional thinking. It's delusional thinking. And Americans are not alone with these sort of delusions. Military cemeteries around the world are packed with brainwashed, dead soldiers who were convinced God was on their side. America prays for God to destroy our enemies. Our enemies pray for God to destroy us. Somebody's going to be disappointed. <laughs> Somebody's wasting their fucking time. Could it be everyone? <laughs>